It's time for a new nail video. So this time it says to swipe on a matte red and keep the moons bare. So I don't really have a matte red so I just got a regular red and I'm going to use my matte top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I'm still going to go ahead and do the base coat just because it's red. I don't want the red to stain my nails. So um, this will be shiny on my moons for a while but then I'll just do the matte top coat on the whole thing. So I guess let's get started. As always, this is my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Hardener, just to get it gone. Alright, so now I have my base coat on, and I, in no way, I'm going to be able to freehand this. So I'm going to be using some French nail tip guides and I'm going to use the rounded one. I know that for similar type of nail art people use like the little circle things that you would put on papers that go into a three ring binder or something like that but I don't have any of those and these are specifically for nail art. So, and basically, um, just leaving the moons bare, you're still going to have your smile line, which is what these will be. This is just going to be a normal smile line. Now, of course, there are different chevron designs and stuff, which I don't have to use those. I'm not using those. I'm just going to use these ones. Um, but because I'm going to be putting it onto the top coat, or the, I mean the base coat, I don't want it to mess it up so I'm actually going to try and dry as much as possible before putting these on to put the red on so I'm going to be back sometime hopefully not soon because you know I'm impatient so we're going to try and prolong this deal so that I can get it correct and not mess up the base coat that I already have on. So I'll be back and we'll get started on the rest. Okay, it's been maybe, maybe 10 minutes and I'm ready to continue. Um, they are all dry to the touch. This is the last one I did and it's pretty dry. I mean, nothing's coming off, which I do know that this base coat dries fairly quickly which is why I never pause between base coat and regular coat. Um, the only reason I did is because of stickers. Um, but otherwise I would just continue on because it dries pretty instantaneously. So this is a little packet and it's just in a um, little plastic packet. So there are a few of each. I don't know how many and I'm not going to count. It doesn't matter. But I, as I said, I'm only going to be using the circle ones. And on her, it looks like she has the whole entire cuticle line uh, bare. It looks like it might even be like halfway up. So, I don't need to, to worry about putting it too close because in the picture it really just looks like she has half of her finger painted red, which that is like normal for me. That's actually kind of how I like my uh, French tips to be anyways. I like the white part to be really big. So, um, let's see if I can figure this out. Get one. All right, I got me one. Now I'm just going to ever so not carefully <laughs> put it on. Try to be as straight as possible. 
so I guess I really don't know if that's oh I do need to get my cute my uh, tweezers out of here all right now I've got some tweezers so this will be helpful in pulling it off when I'm done <sighs> stupid camera stop it see if that helps alright so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on all of them and try to be as even as possible if that's even possible yeah I don't know if I'm even doing it right I cannot do anything with my left hand. Alright, one hand is done and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the rest of them because I think that it would be hard to do once they're colored. Once they have wet paint on them. If I'm out of camera, I'm so sorry. This is taking like all of my focus. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't think they are even at all. Um, they're going to be different on each nail. But I will say that I do have extra left. So there are more than 10 of each design. So setting those aside and now I guess I'm ready to paint. So for the red, I have LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish with Hardeners and this is just a little mini bottle. Um, I'm sure, I'm almost positive I got it off of Listia for probably about a dollar's worth or less. So shake it up a little. I want to make sure that it's going to be opaque, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can do multiple coats or if I'm going to have to take it off and, I don't know, we'll just figure it out as we go, I guess. Okay. So that is very light. So I think I might just do one hand and then do a second coat and take them off of each. Okay. Now I'm going to go in. What is the problem here? Sheesh. I'm going to go in with a second coat and use my tweezers to take off the white part immediately because if it dries then it's going to be all not good. And there is the first one. Not too bad. Not perfect, but it will do. All right, now taking off this one.
So it looks like that one did pull up the base coat even though I waited quite a while. But it totally did pull up the base coat. But I think it'll still be okay because I still have to put the um, matte top coat on it. So that will cover up that bare not shiny part. It's, it's none of it's going to be shiny in the end. So we'll just continue. Okay, so all together, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Yes, it did pull up the um, base coat on quite a few of them, actually. The last three all tore up part of the base coat. Oh well. Moving on to the next hand. All right, that did not work at all. All of the base coat came off on this hand, so it must just, maybe I waited too long because the first two were just fine. So maybe because it dries so fast, I don't know. Maybe I needed to put a top coat or I could have, I guess, just left it off. I don't know, or... I don't know, but that did not work as well as I was hoping. But I am going to dry a little bit and then I will come back in with my matte top coat. So I will be back shortly. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my matte top coat. Um, I really don't know the brand. I mean, it looks like a B and a K. Super matte. Now I will say, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, there is a misprint on the bottle. It says surface oil instead of surface. They miss the R. And I got this from China for like a dollar or maybe two dollars. So I don't care that they misspelled the surface oil part on the bottle that does not matter to me so this is all in Chinese <laughs> can you guys see it's all in Chinese I did get it I think from Hong Kong or I don't know I don't remember now but I love eBay I can get anything I want so anyways this is um, the I have used it a couple times it is just like a matte it just makes it matte I don't know if it's necessarily you know a great top coat because it is very thin and like it says oily um, but it makes it look matte and you know this is the only thing I have matte wise so once I use it I mean you don't put a top coat on top of it otherwise that would defeat the purpose so this is the only thing I'm going to be putting on to my nails, which I do really like them. I think they are super cute. I even like them shiny, but because it says to use a matte red is why I'm going to be using the matte top coat thing here that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on as a top coat. And here is the difference. This one is no top coat at all, and this one has the matte top coat. That is the difference in the coatings. And 
and there you have it that is the nail design I was going for let's get a little zoom in on action on that I'm already zoomed in. But there it is. Does it look like it? I don't think it looks too bad. And it did cover up where the base coat head came off. Um, it doesn't look that bad. So there is my matte red with keeping my moons bare. Hope you guys enjoyed this and please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.